Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to get into my weekly check-in and I want to say hello to all the new subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway and people are finding it and I appreciate you subscribing um, for the giveaway and I hope you stick around and continue to watch my videos and get um, something out of the content that I do provide. Uh, it's a budgeting channel for the most part and I do plan with me on, in my A5 Rings agenda and my hourly. Um, so, um, and they're both Erin Condren uh, pl life planners. So yes, I plan in both. <laughs> it's crazy, but I do. Uh, but I enjoy it. Uh, today uh, is week four of our weekly check-in or my weekly check-in for the um, March 18th through the 24th. As you can see right here, I have my starting bounces, which are really low and I'm actually over budget. This month is, we're just letting it ride, <laughs> letting it ride this month, especially over gas and groceries. We're just not caring. We're just going to spend like we normally do. My husband and I got our tax returns, had a little bit of overtime money left over. We put some of it in savings for um, vacation and stuff like that later this year, but some of it we kept in the bank account to let it ride on purpose because we just didn't want to have a lot of tight restrictions in the month of March with the inflation. And then I'm going to take a look at what we're doing and then adjust those numbers for the month of April. Um, so my husband is the only one bringing income in, but he brings in several sources. He is um, a retired Navy veteran. So he gets a retirement check. Um, he gets a VA disability check. Um, he also gets, um, we also get rent from our son. And then sometimes he gets VA education benefits while he's in school. So it depends on if he's signed up for classes or not that month. And then he has usually two salary checks a month. Coming in April, we'll have three salary checks. So that's an extra pay in April. And it's during a time when my husband at his job is going to be gone. And that means overtime because they pay him for overtime for being gone. He is a contractor for a Navy and uh, for now until the end of this year. And then we're looking to transition into a new job that probably won't pay as much. <laughs> so we are stacking money away, stashing it away, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, um, this month we're not even worried about it. We're just letting things ride. And as long as we can pay for it, which we can, we're going to, um, what is new this month is everything I purchase goes on our credit card. I get one point for most everything. Um, and then, um, two points for groceries and three points for gas. So, or three times the points. So it's one point for every whole dollar, I think. I'd have to go back and look at the rules. I'm still learning how this works, but um, I did write down um, somewhere on my calendar here, move this to the side, um, my calendar of spending categories. And I did write down on March 20th what my points were, and I'm gonna refer at the end of the month to see um, what total points we have. I know points aren't added until until the transaction has completely cleared. So um, I do have to wait for that, but that's what's been going on. Okay, so here is my calendar for my weekly check-in, and we are gonna check out these transactions. I have a lot going on, a lot of spending. Most of it happened today. Um, no, there's not new pay coming in. All the money is in the account, and then I just pay the credit card with it, and I do keep transaction logs of everything, but as you can see, everything is in red, so except for restaurants, which is great news. I mean, that is excellent news. Um, we are definitely sticking to that budget and not overspending in that category. I'm just so thrilled with that. But everything else we have. Um, I only have one no spend this month, uh, this week, and, um, and yeah, we just need to get into this. So <laughs> let me go ahead and pop these budget sheets out. I'm going to zoom in and we are going to go over the numbers. So at the beginning of this video, I did mention a giveaway. I do have the, the, um, link to the video as well as I'll try to remember to put it in the cards at the top of your screen here. And um, also the giveaway rules are in the description box. So check that out and go back to that video. Um, and it ends on Friday today. 
So I'm going to put this video up. I'm filming this on Thursday. I might put this up Thursday night since I'm mentioning it now. And then um, normally I put it up Friday, but I want to give enough people enough time to get to that video and enter to win this giveaway. It's Erin Condren seasonal supplies box. It's the floral one for the spring of 2022. If you've seen videos on it, that's what I'm doing. So um, I try to give a seasonal surprise box uh, away every time they come out. So let's go ahead and hop into now the budget. So I have uh, several categories here, grocery, household, restaurants, miscellaneous, gasoline, unbudgeted, and the new one called Bills Unbudgeted or Visa. Um, I use the same color as unbudgeted because it's not one I use very frequently or I try not to use very frequently. Um, and I put my bills here in the sidebar instead of in the spending because these are things that have a scheduled um, time to come out of the bank on my credit card. Um, I used to just have these go on the credit card and everything else went on debit card. And then inflation hit and I'm like, why am I not taking advantage of the points and rewards and the cash back I could get um, when I cash in those rewards? Right now I'm at $200 or $220 or something like that just for doing the bills this year. So I'm like, hmm, let's see what it looks like and how the points jump up on an average month. And I'll probably start this in April better and start the first of the month and write down the number of points and then um, spend for the month. And then at the end of the month, what is the end of the points? I'm not cashing them in anytime soon, but I kind of want to see what an average month would look like. So that's what I have written here. And I added a bill because it's grass cutting season. And yeah, that is happening. So uh, we have somebody that cuts our grass. I'm allergic. My husband deploys in, with the Navy as a civilian contractor. So uh, he's never home to do it. Um, and I just need help doing that. Let's see. What have we got going on? I have not written anything down on my sticky notes, so I'm going to grab that real quick. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Um, it's on my uh, bookcase over here. Let's see. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is grocery household. And kind of like the old days, I'm just going to kind of list them out and then I'll flip the page over. And yes, I am over budget everywhere. So the first grocery household that we have, I do my budget check-ins Friday to Thursday. Today is Thursday. We do have one more spending thing tonight. My husband and I are going out to dinner. We normally go on Friday nights as date night, but we're doing it tonight because we have other things going on this weekend. And um, we decided we'll do it Thursday, but it'll count on Friday, even though it doesn't really matter. As long as it's counted and taken care of, that's all it really matters. So here's the um, oops, food line, which is $31.96. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this over. And this one was $200. And $25.32. That was a big grocery haul that had meat that had everything in it. Um, vegetables, fruits. Um, it basically, we meal planned and bought everything. And then today I spent... It was so funny today. I, I was at the self-checkout and I put stuff, um, small stuff on the conveyor belt. Which never moves when you do the self-checkout. I don't know why they have that. Um, but... Um, when I did that, I forgot because I don't bring, I don't put on the belt, the milk, the gallons of milk, because I usually buy four at a time. And yes, we go through a lot, about almost a gallon a day or just under a gallon a day. <laughs> so it's a lot of milk in my house. Um, but we can, um, when I bought it, when I have the milk in the cart, ugh, I can't talk. And I had a cup, uh, pack of water in there as well. I usually take the handheld and scan them in the cart. Well, I completely forgot. So <laughs> the 1656 was four dollars worth of water, and the rest of it was milk. And the milk was like three dollars and some change, or, or yeah, three oh nine or something. And um, then I think that was what it was. And then twenty two oh two was the other stuff that I purchased at Walmart. Um, I, I got eggs. I got, um, a big jar of like Prego and, um, cause my kids love pasta and, and pasta sauce with a lot of our recipes. And, um, what else did I get? Oh, crescent rolls. 
they're obsessed with crescent rolls and things like that. So I was buying bulk packaging and orange juice and things like that. So um, those were the grocery items that I got for, oops, for a check out for this week. Um, let's go ahead and total that up. Uh, 31.96 plus 225.32 plus 16.56 plus 22.02. All right, what have we got going on here? So we have $295.86. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move on to restaurants, which I am so happy with. So happy because restaurants, we are not over budget. It's the only category we're not over budget so far um, for the week. Pretty sure. We'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So last week we went and spent a good amount of money at Pirate's Cove, which is a seafood restaurant for me and my husband. You know, he had a couple beers and, you know, we were just relaxing and um, having a nice seafood dinner and it was really, really good. And then my kids got Papa John's Pizza, which was $29.04. And that was it. No other dining out. Oh, no, one more. I forgot. I forgot one. Oops. We did go to the mall. And because it was uh, at lunchtime and um, we were picking out... Uh, some a white button-down shirt and a white t-shirt to go underneath it for my son to wear in his cap and gown photo for his senior year and that is April 5th when he's doing that photo so I'm so excited about that um, a little nervous because he's graduating and all that stuff but as you can see nothing today and then nothing over here as far as eating out and I was like well we're at the mall we'll just get chick-fil-a real quick and that'll be that and that was fine there. All right, so 67. So we may have gone out over a little bit, but I don't know. Let's see. 67.19 plus 29.04 plus 40 plus, oops, 06. And now plus. All right, and then that's, oh, I didn't need that plus. There we go. Enter. So 136.29 is what we did there. And so hopefully we stayed within budget. Now that I say that, I'm not sure. Uh, restaurants, miscellaneous. Lot We are so over budget in miscellaneous. It is absolutely absurd. We're letting it roll. We don't really care anymore. <laughs> Home Depot. What did we get at Home Depot? We got, oh, these two light rings. Um, one, one on the inside, one went on the outside. They go in our kitchen. A ceiling light and they were $39.40 there and then Erin Condren oh yeah yeah and no the lights weren't $39.40 I don't know what the lights were they were like half that I think but the other half of this were a, pa uh, a package of two dome lights for our hallway so we have these fluorescent, I don't know, pinpoint lights in the hallway and they don't work anymore. And I guess they're original to the house and the house is 24 years old. And um, the other kind is more expensive. So we just bought the basic, you know, one for like 15 bucks or so. <laughs> and it had two in it and they're kind of, you know, chrome, brush chrome, but, you know, with the dome um, that's opaque. And... Um, with a regular light bulb. So there's that. <laughs> we just didn't feel like we're just going to replace, replace the whole thing. And we were okay with that. At that price, yeah, I was really okay with it. Because if we bought the other, it probably would have been $70 with the light bulbs and the changing out the lights. And there's two of them. So it's just, it was a lot more than we thought. And I don't know. It was weird. And I didn't like it. Uh, EC surprise box. So this is what I spent earlier this month on the credit card. I'm just now kind of putting it in with my spending because at the first of this month, I did not plan on using my credit card this much. And then halfway through the month, I'm like, I want to get the points because this inflation is killing me and I want cash back. And the inflation was just so much. I was like, 
there's no reason why we can't earn cash back. So um, I'm learning that system and, and I bought two seasonal surprise box. One I un unboxed here on the channel and you can go check out that video. Uh, like I said, the rules are in the description box below. And um, the um, giveaway closes on Friday the 26th at midnight. So Eastern Standard Time. Um, so check out the video, uh, sign up for the giveaway if you're interested in the box, but one of them I get to keep, one of them is for you guys. It's still sealed, um, not been open, and it'll be mailed directly to you. Um, so I've got that. H&M, uh, this is where I bought the shirt, two shirts. Um, the button-down shirt was a little thin, um, so we um, got a t-shirt to go under it, both of them white. And then that was $40.26. I don't really have any rewards with them, so there was no discount. I'm like, that's fine, because I'm probably not going to shop here again. Um, nothing wrong with H&M. I just, it's not our style of clothing, and, you know, they just happen to have uh, a button-down shirt that was white, that was simple. We even went to JCPenney's and couldn't find anything. I'm like, what is going on? Used to be able to go to these stores and find stuff. So I bought a tie. Um, a navy tie a clip on because my husband will be gone <laughs> and my son does this photo and so um, there's nobody in the house that knows how to tie a t men's tie for his day at school it's going to be during the school day when he does this photo so I'm like you got to get a clip on because dude I cannot tie your tie for you and you know he just wears t-shirts and shorts so <laughs> 10:38. I bought a shoe rack to hang because my laundry room is so cluttered with shoes on the floor. I bought a shoe rack and then I ordered some pillows on Amazon, which did not help. I was hoping they would. My husband seems fine with the, the pillow, but my neck, I'm having trouble with my neck. So um, that and then I got this rack uh, for water bottles and then I'm going to keep that in the cabinet. It was really cool looking rack. Um, to organize your water bottles. 5722. It was an impulse buy on Amazon. <laughs> and it actually showed up on my news feed on my Facebook page. So <laughs> yeah, it got me. So, but I showed my husband, he's like, I really like that too. So yeah, we both got got. Anyway, Target. All right. I went this morning to Target um, to look for another pillow. I found a $10 pillow that seemed to be okay. Um, 103.86 is what we spent in total, but um, I also bought a $68 Lego kit, and it was just a kit my son wanted a while back, and then I forgot to buy it, and I'm like, oh, I better get that kit. But he's making straight A's in school, and he was having a rough day the other day, kind of emotionally, because one of his friends was having trouble, and um, I was like, I want to cheer him up a little bit. So I went ahead and got the kit. He doesn't know it's he's getting it today. It's on his bed. He'll see it when he gets home from school. And then EC, I found this at Target, which I thought was really cool that it was there. But it's the Erin Condren. And if you don't know this, Erin Condren does have some of their products in um, Target from time to time. I know the back during the school season uh, with the teacher planners and stuff like that, they put some of their stuff in the Target store. So always look around in their like office planner section. You'll find it. Um, but uh, this is a three month uh, undated uh, wellness journal. And um, I'm doing this for my diabetes. And I want to track some stuff. I'm going to start this in April for sure. But I'm going to do a mock one before I really start writing in this one. But it's really nice. Uh, small steps lead to big changes. You have how you can use it. And then your starting point and goals kind of thing. And then you go into... Um, here's the first goal for the month. What I'm looking... Uh, working towards in my wellness goal and focus. So... Um, there's a lot going on in this one. I know I'm re really close in here. Here we go. So today's focus, food log, and it's a, you know, a month long uh, daily journal. So for, and there's three months worth in here. So food log, movement, exercise, today's self care down here at the bottom, tr daily tracking, water intake steps, hours slept, m overall mood, and then you can add some more to it. 
I thought this would be a good beginner journaling for health. And um, yeah, I really like how it looks and I'm just gonna give it a try and see if I like it. And then I love, it's an A5 size and I love I can get A5 covers and I can change these out if I want. So that was cool. And this was like $17. I looked at the website and they're doing their 75% off warehouse sale, but this is not part of it, this exact one. And this is actually $24 at the website. So I was like, hey, I saved some money. So I was really happy, um, thought I got a good deal. Whoops, sorry about that. And let's see, but that's what I spent today. And then, um, where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, oh, my husband. He bought some knee braces, band things, uh, for his knees as he's walking up and down ladder rails on ships. He's just, he's getting old, people. Can't climb those ladder rails like he used to. And if you've ever been on a Navy ship, you know that's not easy. They're very narrow. <laughs> so let's total up what we have here, and I'll be right back. <music> Okay, so it looks like that's $363.46. Now, I have not done this off camera to make sure all these numbers are right. Um, so I'm praying that they're right right now. <laughs> um, so there was that. Uh, the gas was this morning $78.89. So that was crazy. It was $3.99 a gallon and it was, I have my receipts here. So there it is. Um, it was uh, $3.99 a gallon, and I got just under 20 gallons of gas. Yeah, that was crazy. Now, it was less than what I spent last time on gas because that one was at four, $4.15 or $4.17 a gallon, and that was $82.98. 80, uh, and it's funny, I pulled into Wawa right next door to the 7-Eleven and Wawa was at now four, four fifteen a gallon and 7-Eleven, which for whatever reason doesn't get as many customers as Wawa, was still at $3.99. So I was thankful that they were still at $3.99 and I got a tank and we're good to go. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> oh, that was stressful. So there's that. Where am I at now? So I have all the things written down and checked off here. I'm gonna to go to my weekly check-in now, which is on this side and move this off to the side. And we are going to go here at the bottom and I'm gonna put these totals in. Um, grocery household, 295.86, um, 136.29, uh, 363.46, and then 78.89. That's what I've got going on here. No unbudgeted. Um, I did add a bill, but I'm not including that as unbudgeted um, just because it doesn't need to be. Let's get these totals. And then what I'm going to do is fast forward through this part. So I'm going to total the spent. Um, go across and get the balances and then total all the way across and see how my numbers turned out. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So my math is accurate. Check and check. I reversed the negative number. I added that number and it gave me that negative number. Um, but I totaled it this way, not going across this way. And so I, down and across, I am in <laughs> the negatives, but I am there. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a lot. It's just a lot. $1,200. Now the gasoline and the restaurants, I'm not that concerned about just because 
Um, even though I'm over budget, it's small amounts. It's the miscellaneous. But like I said, this is the month that we're just letting it ride because we had some overtime money left over and um, we were just wanting to get stuff and we were fine with that. So um, we knew we were going to be this far over budget, even though it doesn't sound great. So let me kind of fill in this little last uh, section and uh, with the numbers and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've got that filled in, I do apologize for my uh, sloppy handwriting. I've always had bad handwriting, but it's getting worse um, and it's due to neuropathy and my hands and feet. Um, I have it in both and it's getting harder to write. So um, I may be doing this on a tablet soon <laughs> because this is just not easy anymore. Um, let's see, or on my laptop and typing everything in. Okay, so week five will take us to the end of the month. It's the last seven days of the month. Um, the month ends on a Thursday, which is awesome for me because um, I end my weekly check-ins on a Thursday and my husband gets his government checks, like his retirement, disability, and all that stuff, VA stuff on the first of every month. And um, so, and our son pays us rent on the first of every month. So that works pretty well for us. And so we always start fresh on the first of every month. I know not everybody can do that because paychecks are like every other week or so, but um, we're lucky. So we're appreciative of that. Um, I always give myself a certain amount every um, week to add to the budget. So we are going to add, I'm looking for my notebook here keep a notes page in here and so every week I was going to add in $300 for groceries so that's not going to give us any money but I still want to keep the balance going so I can have a total of an accurate number of what I am over budget for the entire month so I want to see how close I come within the budget this month uh, I'm going to give myself $300 and I need to subtract the $289.58 Okay, that gives us $10.42, and that is what my tracker says on my uh, spreadsheet. And I do it on a spreadsheet as well, just so the math is accurate, um, and I wanna make sure of that. In fact, I'm gonna go over here on my laptop next to the camera and get that uploaded to make sure I'm doing this right. So, restaurants, let's see. restaurants I have $112.50 so we're going to do $112.50 and I'm going to take out the $28.67 so I basically borrowed from this week minus $28.67 uh, and that gives us $83.83 .83. And miscellaneous. So miscellaneous, like I said, we're just letting it ride, buying all kinds of stuff, mainly because we were putting off buying stuff. And a lot of times when my husband gets ready to leave, there's certain things he wants um, to help him get through the deployments. Um, I'm going to add 137.50, which is what I planned. Oops. Seven. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. 137.50 minus the 894. 84. There, that's better. All right, so now I'm balancing for this negative number. Again, this is just to keep track of what um, or how over we are. Not so much. And it comes out of the buffer of the checking account of what we have. And then I go pay the credit card with it, and we're just very aware of what the money is um, and make sure that we are keeping it in line with what is actually in the checking account. Gasoline, we are over 1638, and I add every week 8750. So I'm going to add that. And that means I still have 7112 for the week. So put that down. 7112. Still in the black, except for miscellaneous. But I'm still over for the month. 
So let's go through the numbers. I'm going to add, let's see, I have 7112. I'm going to subtract the 757. Put it on this side. I'm right handed. It makes it easier. All right, $757.34. And then I'm going to add the 8383 and the 1042. All right. We're still negative $591.97. Okay, so that's it. Negative $591.97. That's what I'm over budget for the month in my categories, in all four categories moving forward. So that means everything I purchase, even if I'm positive in these numbers here, it's all going to end up negative for the month. So, um, yeah. <laughs> And most of it's just going to be under miscellaneous. So negative $591.97. Um, when I do my weekly uh, check-in next week, it will also be part of a results video for the week because I typically close out my weekly check-in and I pay close out my paycheck three and I um, do an entire results video for the month and move on into April. And then I'll do a setup for April, which I haven't even begun to think when I'm gonna do those videos. So pray for me that I get those done. Um, but yeah, that's the weekly check and I'm gonna zoom out, grab my notebook, put things back together and close out this video. Okay, I'm back. So that is that. Um, weekly check-in is done. The next week is set up. I will know how far over budget I'll be going over in this month. It looks like we may be going over in $1,000, which was what the buffer had, and uh, spending all the money in our uh, checking account, which is fine. It goes onto the credit card first, and then when I do these weekly check-ins, I go make a payment. Uh, when the transaction's clear, and then I make about four payments a month is what I think I'm going to do. I have discovered that it doesn't cost anything extra to uh, pay your credit card frequently, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm excited about that, and I do see the points going up pretty good, so I am excited about that and curious to see what the difference is and what the category and points are and learn that system for myself, and then maybe down the road if I feel confident enough, um, we might research another um, credit card to use to get the best rewards possible now that we're trying this system. Um, I only recommend credit cards if you can stay in control of them. It took me about two or three years to, you know, just not use a credit card and um, use my debit card only to take care of and get used to just doing cash only. Um, it wasn't easy and I had to discipline myself. So if you're not disciplined in it, then I don't recommend it. But if you can be, I do. And with this inflation, I just felt this was a good time to try it out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.